Hi, welcome to another video in our Quiz App program. In this program, or in this video, we're going to do a class. We're going to create a class that will generate questions for our multiple choice format. So I'd like you to go with me into your project that you've started here and look in the app folder, look inside of Java, and then the first folder which has the main activity hiding in it. In here we're going to create a new class called question and we'll build up a ability to choose four different random questions and pick one correct answer. So let's get started here. I'm going to right click and choose new Java class and we'll call this thing question and click OK. All right, we're ready to start here on the coding. So each question is going to be an addition problem. So I'm going to simply have properties that say first number, which is an integer, second number is an integer, and the third one will be the answer. So next I'm going to create some false answers. So there will be four choices that the user will be able to pick from. And I will store those in what's called the answer array. So one of those four will be correct. And so the answer position will be a number from 0 to 3. So as I generate questions, I'm going to provide an upper limit. So this is sort of the difficulty level. Apparently adding larger numbers is more difficult. So I'd also like to have a string which we can put out to the screen. So for instance, if the first number were 4, the second number were 9, then the question phrase would be 4 plus 9 equals. And so it's just a string of what the problem is. So now since we have all these, I'm going to generate the actual getters and setters. So let's go to right click and generate. And if we have getters and setters, we can choose a shift and select all of these and click OK. And so we've generated all the getters and setters automatically. So now I'm going to create a constructor. And the constructor will generate a new question. So it will take two random numbers, add them together, calculate the answer, and it will also generate four false questions and uh, put those in the uh, buttons to choose from. So we're going to need a random number generator to create a um, new problem. Notice we have to import. So I think it is uh, option enter. And now it's imported and you should see at the first of the uh, page we have Java utility random. So now we'll generate our question. We'll use a first number is going to be a random number between 0 and the upper limit. And the second number is also a new random number. And of course the answer is add them together. So now I want to know where the answer position will be. So remember we have four possible places, 0, 1, 2, and 3, and I'm randomly choosing one of those four. So next let's create the answer array. And I'll just initialize it first of all as an array of numbers. So 0, 1, 2, and 3 are just random numbers. But now I'm going to recalculate those answers. So now I'm going to generate four random numbers and um, I'm going to try to do um, an answer that could possibly be close to what the user would think. So a one-off answer, a plus 10 answer, a minus 5, and a minus 2. Now I would like to shuffle these four answers so that they're not always in the same position. So I'm going to invent a, a method here or a new function called shuffle array. So here's the start of my new custom method it'll be called shuffle array. It will return an integer um, array and it will also accept an integer array. So next I'm going to create um, a for loop that will uh, run backwards. So it's going to count from the array length down to zero, counting down by one. So the rest of this code is we are going to take uh, a random position and swap it with a temporary number. So we're just uh, trading places inside of the array. So this creates a shuffle array program. Okay, it looks like I spelled shuffle array incorrectly, so now we're ready to go. So shuffle array should be able to uh, mix up our answers. 
Right, let's return back into our question constructor. And lastly, after I shuffle the array, I'm going to place the correct answer in one of the places. So we'll stop with the video here, and then we'll start coding in the actual uh, main activity in the next video.